Hello and welcome to this live interaction with me, Ashish Parikh. Now, according to researchers at the University of Hawaii Institute of Astronomy, the Apophis asteroid named after the god of chaos is getting pushed around by sunlight and getting faster as it heads towards Earth. Now, researchers believe that the asteroid is under the influence of the Yarkovsky effect and this is when the asteroid actually speeds up because its thermal radiation is no longer uniform. Simply put, some parts of the asteroid are heating up faster than other parts and before the detection of this particular effect, Apophis, which is the size of three football fields was likely to fly past Earth in 2068. However, the impact of the Yarkovsky acceleration means that there is still a possibility that the massive asteroid may crash into the planet when it rolls around in another 50 years. Now, the potential impact of this particular uh, impact of this asteroid would be the equivalent of 880 million tons of TNT exploding simultaneously. Now, this would make it 65,000 times more destructive than the Hiroshima nuclear disaster. It's not uncommon for small asteroids between the size of 5 to 10 meters to fly, you know, pass by Earth, but asteroids the size of Apophis are rare. Not only are they fewer in number, but also they don't normally come this close to the Earth's surface. And the massive 340 meter asteroid will be visible streaking across Earth's skies without the aid of a telescope or binoculars. And according to NASA, even this close encounter may have an impact on the asteroid itself since it will be only 30,000 kilometers from the planet Earth's gravitational field may impact the way the asteroid spins or results in a change on its surface to explain to us more about this and what is this phenomena that everyone is talking about I've got with me our expert for the day Professor Jain Muthi senior professor at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics joining us live first of all thanks a lot professor for joining us on this live interaction my first question to you of course is what is the Yarkovsky effect and how dangerous is this whole asteroid that everyone now seems to be talking about on social media well you know there's a <coughs> excuse me <coughs> there's a lot of effects that will affect an asteroid in space mm -hmm. and certainly Yarkovsky effect is one of them that's just uh, the uh, parts of the asteroid are heated up more than others mm -hmm. and so because of that uh, it, it radiates differently in different directions okay and this will affect its motion Mm -hmm. But probably more important that, than that is just random gravitational interactions. Mm -hmm. For instance, you said that uh, th this asteroid Apoph Apophis will be affected by the Earth's gravity. Mm -hmm. and, and that will have a greater effect, Jupiter, Mars. So, uh, <coughs> so th these are all the effects that will change the uh, orbits of asteroids. Mm -hmm. Also, also, Professor, now, you know, uh, every passing week we have news of uh, an asteroid po potentially crashing into Earth's surface. So how real is this danger? Is there any possibility of this actually crashing into Earth's surface? Oh, there is absolutely a possibility. You, you remember the, the dinosaurs. That's what wiped the dinosaurs out. Mm -hmm. But the, the chance for that any particular asteroid, including this one, will crash into the Earth is negligible. Mm -hmm. But there are many asteroids out there. Mm -hmm. And eventually, there is a chance that one of these asteroids will hit the Earth. The problem is it's very hard to predict which one will do that mm -hmm. because of all these effects that keep uh, affecting the asteroid, mm -hmm. the uh, Yarkovsky effect, gravitational effects, and so on. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to say that this asteroid will hit the Earth. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we can do, what we should do, is we should track all of the asteroids. Mm -hmm and and uh, just keep a watch and maybe work out ways to keep them from hitting us mm -hmm. also professor you spoke about the uh, you know possible asteroid impact that wiped out the entire dinosaur population now it's been a long long time since that last happened and ever since then i believe there's not been any uh, similar incident uh, till now so what exactly is protecting earth because of course there are a lot of uh, you know uh, random arbitrary objects flying around in space objects as big as any asteroid that you can uh, you know possibly imagine so what exactly has protected earth for this long is it again some random uh, you know permutation and combination that you know when an asteroid is passing through the orbit earth is not that there at the particular spot is that the factor or is there anything else that is protecting earth for so long well what really happened is that uh, at the beginning of the formation i mean at the formation of the solar system mm -hmm. there were lots of asteroids a lot of space junk mm -hmm. and so everything was colliding with everything else 
But after a few hundred million years or maybe a billion years, mm -hmm. this was after all five billion years ago. Mm -hmm. After a billion years or so, you'll find that most of the stuff that would have collided mm -hmm. has already collided. Exactly. So there's much less stuff to collide with. But it's not quite true what you say, that, uh, that there have been no further impacts. Mm -hmm. Certainly, it's true that, uh, that there's not been an impact like the dinosaur impact. Yeah. But there have been things like uh, uh, the Chelyabinsk uh, uh, asteroid. That uh, well, that was the one about uh, uh, half a dozen years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. That uh, uh, broke windows throughout northern Russia, mm -hmm. and so so there have been incidents, but nothing, nothing. Of course, no ma major body has hit the Earth, but yeah. they've come close. Absolutely. A few thousand kilometers. Absolutely. Now, before we uh, wrap this discussion, of course, one thing that a lot of our viewers would be very curious about. For example, we know for in case we know for a fact that it is headed toward, towards Earth and we have potentially a very little less time left. Is there any uh, technology that we developed, anything that humans on Earth can do to avoid a collision, to avoid any sort of a disaster that would be impending if this asteroid is on its path to uh, crash into Earth? Well, if you watch uh, Bruce Willis in Armageddon, you shoot blow up the asteroid with nuclear weapons. But of okay. course, that uh, that won't work. Uh, they're, they're, you have to study it. There, people are working on things, mm -hmm. and ideally, you catch it early enough mm -hmm. that uh, even a small change will cause it to shift to miss the Earth because distances are so big. Mm -hmm. So you, 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 we're, we're, they're studying it. But more important than that is now that we have to find every asteroid. Mm -hmm. Once we find them, then we'll have uh, uh, some years to, to try to do something about it. Absolutely. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Professor Muthi, for joining us live on this interaction. So that was Professor Muthi joining us from Indian Institute of Astrophysics, clearly explaining all the buzz and all the questions that people are coming out with on social media, given the fact that this particular asteroid, that is the Apophis asteroid, which has the potential uh, to impact Earth as, as large as 880 million tons of TNT, that is, uh, the, that is the potential impact that we're looking at. And that is what it had, in fact, uh, you know, that is why, in fact, it had uh, set the social media platforms up a buzz, given the fact that it was, uh, you know, speeding towards Earth. It is, in fact, speeding towards Earth at, at a speed much higher than expected earlier. So do let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And also do not forget to like, share and subscribe to News9 Digital. Thanks a lot for watching.